two. MMS news. Now roll the intro. Today I'll be the guy. Welcome back, Cole. It's the most amazing things. Okay. 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 Good welcome, MMS. My name is Katie. And my name is Maya. And welcome to the one and only MMS News. Remember, we are focusing on the character traits of MMS. And this month's character trait is trustworthiness. Trustworthiness means a person that is honest and who can be entrusted with anything of importance. Please go to the MMS News website and fill out the survey to see your name scroll across the screen. We can't wait to see what kind of trustworthy students we have here at MMS. Now we go to our first story of the week, our MMS News story with our very own Edgar. Hey there, MMS. Edgar here with the week ahead. On Monday, there will be a homework club, MMS News, and student council, and chess club. And there will be volleyball at Johnsburg. On Tuesday, there will be homework club, soccer club, and drama guild. And there will be volleyball at Cre Creekside. On Wednesday, Seven Silver will be having a field trip. Then there will be pep band. On Thursday, there will be homework club, builders club, soccer club, drama guild, and comic book club. Last, on Friday, there will be picture retakes and a sail field trip. That's all for now, and I will see you next time. Bye. The Trojan News Center is here to give you the updates and info to make sure you stay up to date on the wonderful world of MMS. Hello, it's Allie and Kenzie here today to, with Miss Brown to talk about the seventh grade volleyball team. First question, when are the volleyball mm -hmm. games? The volleyball games are um, typically on Tuesdays or Thursdays. It depends on our schedule. Um, we have a home game uh, Monday and Tuesday next week, I believe, but I could be very wrong about that. So you can check the schedule online um, on the McHenry page. If you go to athletics, you can click on volleyball and our schedule is there. Where are the volleyball games? So the volleyball games are when they're home, they're in the main gym, and they're also in the small gym, um, depending on which uh, game that we're playing. And then when we're away, we're at various schools um, around us. They're usually pretty local, like Johnsburg and Nippersink, which is in Spring Grove. So you can come see us play. Are there any special volleyball games coming up? There is. There's a Dick Pink game coming up. Um, all proceeds go to Breast Cancer Foundation and Research. Um, we ask that everyone come and wear pink to support. It's a really good game for us. We play Parkland, which is always a big deal, um, and we'd love to see you there. Anything else you would like MMS to know about volleyball team? Um, it's a really good uh, sport to come and watch and come hang out and support the kids. Uh, it's really low-key, so you just have to sit there. You don't really need to know what's going on uh, and cheer for us, and yeah. Remember to come and support the MMS um, volleyball team by coming to the games. Thank you for coming, Ms. Brown. Bye, MMS. Now we go to a special announcement by some of the wonderful teachers here at MMS. think about coming in next week, I think that would work out okay. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I think I can do that. Okay. Hey guys! Oh. Oh, Thanks for goodness. joining me here. Wow. Oh. What are you doing here? I'm so excited. You know, I can see that. It's that time of year again. What time of year? Global Read Aloud. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. I brought your books. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. This is such a great opportunity for our students and our staff to be reading a book together. Um, I just love this one. It's Refugee by Alan Gratz. Um, it's a story of three different refugees from three different time periods and how they overcome some major struggles. I think everybody's going to love it. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Schnur, for that great summary. <laughs> So if you remember last year, we read A Long Walk to Water, and Salva was a refugee. He was fleeing from his country. Um, and so these characters from Refugee are fleeing from Syria, Cuba, and Germany. And three different time periods, too, I believe. Yes. yes. Very interesting how they're all connected. Mm -hmm. And I think, actually, we have some pictures of refugees. Yeah. Uh, this is a group of refugees that are walking, um, so they were in danger and they were trying to leave their country. Sometimes, unfortunately, refugees um, may be walking for months, days on end, um, and we will see that with some of the characters in the book. Definitely. It really makes me appreciate, I don't know about you guys, but for sure. yeah, Absolutely. it really makes me appreciate what we have here, and I think the students are really going to connect to the characters in the story. and. Um, it's a great book. I loved it. It's action-packed. 
That's awesome. I'm looking forward to reading it. Yeah. And thanks to Mrs. Anderson and Mrs. Covrubius, there's this awesome interactive bulletin board in the library, so everybody make sure you stop down. Um, we'll be keeping track of some of the characters and their progress throughout the novel. Nice. Sounds yeah, fun. and when are we starting the book again? Can somebody remind me? Next, Next week. <laughs> oh, that's right. I cannot <laughs> wait. So everybody, get ready. It's going to be a great reading adventure in home base. I can't wait to read that book. It sounds so good, but I wonder what refugee means. I don't know, but I bet we'll find out for sure next week. Till then, though, let's check in with our new DIYer to see what she's making this week. Hi, MMS. My name is Anna. Today I'm doing a DIY phone holder. So here's what you'll need. Scissors, four pushpins, any color washi tape, and last but not least, an empty toilet paper roll. First step is to grab your empty toilet roll. Then grab your scissors and cut a little slit on the top where your phone will go. You might want your phone for this to measure the size. Next you want to grab your choice of washi tape and cover the whole toilet paper roll. Your last step is to put the push pins in the bottom sides of the toilet paper roll. Bye, thank you OMS for joining me today. See you next week. Need drama? Want music to play whenever you walk around? Then check out our very own musical reviewer. Hello, OMS. Welcome back to the extra dead part of the news, musical review. This week's musical is Mean, mean Girls, Girls the musical. musical. Basically, it's the movie Mean Girls, but in Broadway form. It was first premiered on October 31st, 2017. So how it goes is Caddy Harrison, the new girl at North Shore High School in Chicago, is desperate to fit in and finds friends. <laughs> they find the new girl when the plastics set their sights on Caddy. Janice convinced the na naive caddy to be their friend in order to bring down Queen B. Regina George. George's. Along the way, a caddy loses herself, her friends, and her crush, all for the chance to be popular and loved. When dethroned, Regina gets revenge by releasing the burn book. Caddy is brought down and must mend her broken relationships with Janice, Aaron, and even Regina. Also, my personal favorite song is Meet the Plastic. I either like Revenge Party or Where Do You Belong. You can see it at Broadway in Chicago. Or actual Broadway. The song track is quite amazing, so go listen to it. By the Boy, way, whose, whose house, house is this? This is my house now. <laughs> we go now to our insider who is ready to give you the info on this week's anime. Welcome back, MMS. Today we're going to be reviewing a Hunter x Hunter. This story is about Gon Freezes who discovers that his father, who he was actually told was dead, is actually alive in a world real hunter. A licensed profession for those who specialize in fantastic pursuits such as locating rare unidentified animal species, treasure hunting, surveying unexplored enclaves, or hunting down lawless individuals. Despite being abandoned by his father, Gon departs upon a journey to follow in his footsteps, passing the rigorous hunter examination, and eventually fi find his father. Along the way, Gon and Gon meets various other hunters and also encounters the paranormal. The episodes run for about 30 minutes. The series started in 2012 and ended in 2015. If you have any questions, comments, or anime recommendations, please email me at cq897md15.org. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in, MMS. Have a good weekend. The top 10 is here in Crank to 11, so cover your ears and watch your speakers because these songs are going to blow you away. Hey, people of MMS. Back with top 10. Yep, we got some nice songs for you guys this week. Wait, why am I still talking? Let's just get right into it. Okay, number 10, Love Lies by Khaled and Normandy. Underneath the sunrise, show me where you know I lie. Number 9, Juicy Dreams by Juice World. These lucid dreams where I can't move a thing, thinking of you. Number eight, No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. Number seven, Better Now by Post Malone. You probably think that you are better now, better now. You only say that cause I'm not around, not around. You know I never... Number six, Africa by Weezer. Some time to do the things we never had. Number
number five. Back to you by Selena Gomez. I know I'd go back to you. Number four. No Brainer by DJ Khaled, Justin Bieber, and Chance the Rapper. It ain't the hard to choose. Him or me be for real, baby. It's a no brainer. You got your mind on loose. Go hard and watch the sun rise. One night it change your whole life. Number three. Girls Like You by Maroon 5 featuring Cardi B. Cause girls like you go around with guys like me. So sundown when I come through, I need a girl like you. Number two, Natural by Imagine Dragons. Number one, Young Blood by Five Seconds of Summer. You should really check out. Hello, MMS, and welcome to Spotlight. A lot of people are familiar with the rising boy band Why Don't We? The relatively small California based boy band um, is very talented, and if you're looking for something different, you should pay attention. Why Don't We was formed not too long ago in 2016. From then to now, they have made six albums featuring songs such as Something Different, These Girls, and Invitation. Their latest album is called Eight Letters, featuring songs like Talk, Choose, and In Too Deep. In total, the album features eight songs and seems to be very popular. Why Don't We is currently signed to Atlantic Records, known for artists like Skrillex, Cardi B, Ed Sheeran, and Bruno Mars. Formerly signed artist there is Led Zeppelin, the famous rock band known for songs like Stairway to Heaven and Full of Love. Led Zeppelin is the current highest certified music group in the U.S. I hope you enjoy Why You Don't Wheeze and Led Zeppelin's music. Have a great day, MMS. Catch the ball, run the pass, but make sure you take time out for this week's sports updater. Take it away, Lee. Hi guys, it's Lee, back at you with another sports update. So, let's get started. The Bears are taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers kickoff at noon. On Friday, the White Sox are taking on the Indians, first pitch at 110 and 710 for a doubleheader. The Cubs are taking on the St. Louis Cardinals, first pitch at 120 p.m. Kyle Busch won second race in the NASCAR playoffs. Next week is the unpredictable Charlotte Roble. Saturday, the Chicago Blackhawks are taking on the Blue Jackets. Puck drop at 7 o'clock. That's all for now. Bye, guys. Fighters had read all the fan mail, checked all the emails, and gathered all the true to give you the best facts to blow your mind. Hello, MMS. Today we will be telling you seven facts about spiders. This was requested by Casey Hewitt. Number one, spiders are found on every continent except Antarctica. Number two, spiders eat more insects than birds and bats. Come Number on. three. Spiders need a special fluid to help move their legs. Number four, spiders help the world by getting rid of harmful insects. Number five, all spiders spin silk, but not all spin webs. Number six, hummingbirds use spider silk to make their nests. And finally, number seven, some male spiders give female spider give dead insects as presents. If you would like to see more fun facts, visit my YouTube channel, Strayo Yellow. Also, if you have any fun facts suggestions, email me at jpitkit497 at d15.org. Have a good day, MMS. Ever wonder about the largest cheeseburger or the smallest pumpkin ever? Well, check out our newest story, The World Record Makers. This week's craziest world record is the world's longest festival parade float. The world's longest parade float was recorded at 2,596 feet long. This world record was recorded at the Lantern Festival in Gutian, China. The flow was made of pep, paper, wood, and bamboo. This record was set on February 7, 2012. 
That was this week's world record. I hope you enjoyed this week's world records. See you next week, MMS, with another world record. And remember, if you get enough friends together, maybe you can beat this world record. Calendar Updater is here to tell you about a special holiday for that one person in class. Yeah, if you know that one person. Hey guys, it's Alyssa. And Alex. And today's story is... Ask a Stupid Question Day. Which is on Friday, September 28th. So what's this day about? So this day is for when guys or girls who try to be entertaining and ask stupid questions during class. You know who you are. So we can ask what color, is, what color the sky is? Not that, but you're getting there. What about why is the sky blue? Your teachers might not know that answer, but you're getting closer. Well, well that's, that's all we, we have for <laughs> today. Bye, Bye MMS. Calendar Girl signing, signing out. out. Can't figure out what to eat? Don't worry, our food experts have the right place for you. G'day, g'day, I'm the food critic, and today we're doing, Gavin, doing without Gavin, and today I'm doing meat and potato, home of the meat and potato. They serve hot dogs, burgers, gyros, Italian beef, and other American food, like that they would have choices of curly or and waffle fries. They have milkshakes, chocolate, and vanilla flavor, and ice cream. I personally like the hot dog with curly fries, and I rate this place 3.5 out of 5. That is all this week, MMS. Cheers, fellas! Our certified meme experts are here to give you the serious knowledge on the very memes you should look at when you're using Google for schoolwork. Hello, MMS. Welcome to Meme Review. The first meme is the Bongo Cat meme. Pretty self-explanatory. This meme gets a 4 out of 10. The next meme is the Alley A meme. It's not funny at all. This meme gets a 5 out of 10. The last meme on this list is the acronym meme. This meme gets a 7 out of 10. Wah! Bye, Bye MMS! Bye, bye. Need to know more ways to waste time? Then check out our YouTuber, who will surely show you what you will be subscribing to after you subscribe to MMS News. Hi everybody, my name is Peyton Evans, and I will be your new YouTuber. And I want to talk about famous YouTubers. So this week I will start uh, with the best, me. So I have a YouTube channel called Lego Bean E. I review Lego, I do animation with Lego, and I will sometimes play Lego games. Also, go, out, uh, go and check out my second YouTube channel called Comics, Movies, and More. My second channel's profile picture is a drawing. I am doing this upcoming Lego Stop Motion on Lego Bean E. It's called the Lego Bean and Gavin movie, and it will be coming this Christmas. See you guys soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. Ever wonder what it would be like to drop out of school after 8th grade? Well, the JFL has you covered, so get ready. Hello, Hello MMS. MMS. We are here for more funny videos to make you laugh. Oh, and our theme for this week is just people being stupid. Yeah. P.S. This is for all you 8th graders looking to not graduate. Looking, looking at, at you, you Chase. Chase. Also, you can see we're on a construction site. That's totally fine. Anyway, our first video is the fight. Oh, beautiful. Our second video is the boat catastrophe. Bye. Stay classy, MMS, and have a great weekend. Do, 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 do.
now 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 You're just <laughs> press record? There's a piece of cheese down there. I know, because someone scared me, so something came out of my thing. I didn't know anything. Also, the Cubs are taking on the Chicago Cubs and the what? Hi, MMS. Welcome back to MMS. This week, we are going to be doing pineapples. This was a request. Can we redo that? You were supposed to write fun facts. Your brain's ready to caught. Cause here, com uh, <laughs> I can't read today. Some myth, and finally, number seven. Some male spiders give female spider give dead insects as presents. Uh. And no and finally, number seven. 13 out of the 17 types of penguins are on the bridge of extin... I don't know how to say that. How do you say that? Extinction. Extinction? You're just eating your ice cream. <laughs> I know! Reardon! <coughs> so awesome. Like, could we, like, <laughs> like, maybe, like, we're listening to it and, yeah, I get a little That's weird. what I told oh, Bailey. Oh, yeah, like, we, we started doing that, but otherwise we get, okay, this is number three, wait, blah, blah, blah. And then you get, like, the dead blank stare. Just like. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, we're listening to it or something, you know, just, yeah. Cool, have fun with it. My name is Katie. <laughs> <laughs> the super strong waterproof tape. Oh! <laughs> you just got smacked! Wow, she I know this dance that you saw so Aiden. Wait, it didn't have to go like this. Okay. <laughs> oh god, this is a big No, hands in hands, hands in hands, 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 hands contact. Katie! That smells! I almost just burp, but then I stop myself. Years, and this is the second year we've had the duathlon. The PE department teachers put the event together. <laughs> now I'm asking for the kids. Some students may not know exactly what a is, so can you explain what that word means? Yeah, I can. A is basically. Stay class. Sorry. <laughs>